Yep, it's DJ Sus1, the feature presentation radio show, co-host Ali V. What's going on, guys? So we got um, a guest in the building. Yo, 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 ears to the street! Ears to the street, repping Atlanta, and Mike Will is in the building as well. Yeah, yeah ears like the two on the yeah. side of your head and the kids standing right here. You What's did. going on, Sus1? What's going on, my brother? Man, I like I the energy. I man. I appreciate that, man. I'm happy to be here, man. New York, only for a few hours, man. One night only, man. We just dropped Ears to the Streets, Volume 2. It's out. Nice. iTunes. Go grab that shit. It's a motherfucking movie. You know what I'm saying? All the Ear Drummer fans uh, who've been following me, who've been, who been down with me since Volume 1, since Work Your Muscle, you know what I'm saying? And if you haven't, if you're brand new, you're welcome. Street people, come on, come on. It's number energy, and it's straight slaps. I like artists like this. I just said hi. I know. <laughs> <laughs> for real. So, yo, listen. So we don't miss name. <laughs> so for the people who are new to ears, ears to the streets. Yeah. Tell them about Volume One. Tell them how you linked up with Mike Will. Tell them yeah. about the come up in ATL. Yeah. And tell them how you um got to Volume Two, going down in Interscope. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, tell us your story. Uh, man, my story, man. I'm just a young guy who been wanting to do this shit forever. You know what I'm saying? I grew in the dirty south, you know what I'm saying? My mother, she buried there. That's where I'm a, that's where I'm gonna be at, you know what I'm saying? And like that's what that's what it that's what it is for me. Um this whole ears to the streets, it all started, man, just growing up. You know what I'm saying? I always been ears, you know what I'm saying? I always had ears, the big ears and stuff and all that. You Where, know did saying? you watch Martin and Will Smith as a kid? Uh, I did. <laughs> I did. I did. But I seen uh like you know what I'm saying? We seen all that stuff. But um, growing up, like, it was a lot of joking and stuff. But I kind of, like, embraced it. Like, just from the giddy up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my aunties, everybody called me ears and stuff. But, like, on a shorter note, like, as I got older, you know what I'm saying? I got more mischievous. I actually got into, like, a little scuffle. I got a scar on my ear. You know what I'm oh, saying? Okay. So now I got the kilo. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? I took all to it, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? And ears to the streets. It kind of just, it kind of came along with just growing up and everything. Like, people call me that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's nothing I made up or nothing like that. Like, that's really me. So, just channeled into the music and uh, really figured out I could really do this. Like, when I sat down and buckled down, like, I took it got dang seriously as a mug, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Linking up with Mike Will, it yeah, was just that like, happen? that was just crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was just all, it was all organic. Everything that happened, this whole story, this whole thing right here is organic. This whole interview right here, organic. Like, from the, from the whole, the whole story of this. But, um, me and Mike Will was just crazy, man. I was homeless, and then we ended up. I ended up being walking distance from this studio called Up Some More. Walking to the studio wait, every on, day. Let, let, let's stop right there. First of all, how old are you? Oh me? Yeah. Um, you you want to say? No me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I right, know because you said you were homeless, and you and you seem like a young guy. Yeah. How how was that being homeless and trying to get in the game? Like, oh uh, man, was, I mean, this is real life. It's just reality. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even like. Man, you when you got real situations going on, like growing up, you you start doing things you ain't never start think you was gonna do. Getting older, like you know what I'm saying. So well, like, well, that's what it was for me. When you like, say homeless, you yeah. mean sleeping on a friend's couch? No, I mean, you mean like, you was sleeping on the street. Yeah, like so I slept in parks. You know what I'm saying? I slept behind Brewsters. Like wow. you know what I'm saying? I slept pillow to post. I did all that. Like you know what I'm saying? Like dead for real. Like I'm not wow. like no, nah, we're not taking it. Like I'm not. This is not a story. Like this is real life. This is really happening. Like so. um where I was at, where I was uh, sleeping, shortly from where I was sleeping at, it was a studio, walking distance, you know what I'm saying? By the grace of God, I was walking to this studio every single day. Like, I'm walking to this studio, and uh, a friend, a mutual friend named Plus, you know what I'm saying? He's an ear drummer producer as well, you know what I'm saying? He always kept his eyes on me, you know what I'm saying? Like, or did he keep his ears on you? No, yeah. <laughs> Mike, Mike Will's talking. Re, no, nah, Rewind, man, we, we went to high school with each other too, but it was just like, oh, yeah. we, we, it was an age difference. I was a Never senior, knew. you know what I'm saying? He was a, he was in ninth grade. And he was lit, like you know hold what I'm saying. Hold on, hold on. Lit, lit. Like he had the Gucci, like you know what I'm saying. So back then, like you know what I'm saying, it's just imagine just like all the fresh Gucci, brand new, like you know what I'm saying. Was Mike Will, I don't know. I get this aura from him. I don't know him on this level, but was he a bully in high school? Nah, to the nah, ninth graders? nah, nah, <laughs> heck nah. He didn't slap the ninth graders up. Nah, nah get that vibe. Nah, heck nah. I'm better nah. paying anybody in school any attention, like, man. If you I, seen, I was rocking with Gucci uh, in in high school. You know what I'm saying? Real, like really? we had a we had a group. And we were lit, you know what I'm saying? Like, we were doing music in high school, so, you know what I'm saying? That's all I was about, like, I was really more about my business. Like, mm -hmm. as, soon, as soon as that school bell rang, like, first period, that's when I'm walking in. And as soon as that school bell rang, last period, I'm gone. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, um, now nah, I wasn't the bully type, but E and Plus, like, me, E and Plus went to the same high school, but me and Plus was, like, in the same grade. Mm -hmm. And then, like, you know what I'm saying? E and Plus already knew each other, mm -hmm. like, from high school or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like... But they they never really did. They they were like boom bapping in like the cafeteria, the lunch table. yeah, like you know what I'm saying. 
But everybody does. It's that like the story yeah. is so deep, man. It's so the story is so deep. Like it's like dead for real. Like we really went to the same school and like didn't know each other. Like I used to see, I used to see Mike. Like when I seen Mike, like I see his back. You know right. what I'm saying? But I knew who he was. You know what I'm saying? Like growing up in school and stuff like that, I knew exactly who he was. I was familiar with the music. I was familiar with the sound and everything. And you know, say it was just it just was what it was. You know what I'm saying? But I knew plus plus just he was like kind of like a master Roshi, if you will. Like I'm talking, about, he was older than me, but like he was just heavy set cat. You know what I'm saying? Ashy black tea. Nobody was really even like talking to him. Like in the but like we just Ashy to, to classy. Like man, what? <laughs> He's a legend. He a genius. He a like what? Genius. He a straight genius. Real but like talk. from the day one, like he always pushed me. Like he always pushed me. Like just freestyling, just from rapping, everything, just perfecting my craft, everything. He always just checked on me. Like for real. Now I want to ask you a question because you, he came. You know, ears came in the studio. He's like, I want to rap. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's some real MC shit. Uh -huh. Now, no disrespect, because he's a real cool guy. But I just had an um, interview with Lil Yachty. Mm -hmm. And he was telling me he's not a rapper and he doesn't really listen to, you know, the lyrics. Well, he didn't say he doesn't listen to the lyrics, but he said that's just not his thing. He's mm -hmm. not a rapper. Now, coming from the same the same background in Atlanta, how do you feel about those statements where he says he didn't really know, like, listen to Pac and listen to Biggie and, you know, those I mean, statements? I don't feel no way about, I don't feel no way about no statements. Like, you know what I'm saying? I honest, like, man... Yachty is fire. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I hosted the double XL real, concerts. Like, He's all the way real, fire. Like, I, understand, I understand it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I understand. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it's, it's just all about just pushing forward. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. Like, he's a he's a whole different, he's in a whole different lane of his own. Like, you know what I'm saying? He doing his thing and it's fire. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, that, if that's not what he heard when he was growing up, that's just not what he heard. Cool. You know what I'm saying? But he was definitely inspired by something. Right. To like, you know what I'm saying? To become like how to he do, is, even like you know what I'm saying? To do, do music, everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who, so like, who was real. ears to the streets influences? Uh, man, rap wise, it was like a Milton pot. Man, I was listening to everything. My dad was playing from the Fugees to to Tupac to Biggie to everything. Like you know, what I'm saying? I was listening to everything to Earth, Wind, and Fire, just everything. Then you listening to Neil Young and you listening to all type of stuff. And I was listening to. Country singers and stuff like I was listening to a bunch of music. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't forget Pastor Troy. Pastor can't forget, Troy, you can't. Yeah, can't forget forget all that. I can't forget. I can't forget F A Y. I can't forget. You know what I'm saying? I can't forget none of that. Nah, I can't F forget all that. Top five. My top five, man. I would love to hear this. I can't even think out of bat. Andre 3000, mm -hmm. Tupac, mm -hmm. Biggie. I love both of them. Um. Who else? Is there anybody in today's generation of hip hop that you would put in your top five or not? Um, I don't know. I got a lot of favorites. Oh, Trouble. Okay. Trouble from Atlanta. Okay. He always been one of my favorite favorite artists. Like you know what I'm saying? Definitely listen to Trouble. That's four. And ears. And ears. And ears. Nice. <laughs> All right. So um, fast forward. You didn't know Mike Will in high school at all. You guys, you guys knew through mutual friends. You knew who he was. Mm -hmm. How did you guys link afterwards? Like, just explain exactly how uh, that went down. So, uh, plus, like I said, plus. Like you just said, yeah. you guys need to link? No, 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 no. Plus no. is a producer. Plus is ear drummers. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, me and Plus was rocking with each other on the beats back then, like in high school. You know what I'm saying? We just always stood close. Like, I'm his brother. Like, as mm -hmm. soon as he started trying to, you know what I'm saying, like, go down the wrong path, I'm like, nah, Nick. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta come over here, man, focus on the beats. And then, like, you know what I'm saying? Where, like, you know, you know how, like, you have people, like, and your family that, that, that sometimes tell you, like, man, no, nah, don't do, be you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. just stop doing the music. You need to focus on this. You know what I'm saying? Vision. Exactly. So he was getting a lot of that, too. And I was like, nah, bro, man, fuck that, bro. Like, you like you got to go hard, bro. Like, keep going hard on the beats. Like, so we always just rock with each other. And, like, we still rock with each other today. Like, we got hits today with each other. Like, you know what I'm saying? And so, like, when, when I started moving around with, like, Shrimp, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, like, and, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, really rolling out shrimp it was like man plus and ears linked up plus plus our ears like in a, in a in like a club i mean ears could tell you more about that but like plus it just hit me and was like man yo you remember this kid named ears that we went to school with he was like you might not have known him but like when i when i used to be in the cafeteria you know what i'm saying like over there like rapping and stuff like he was like man ears was like one of the dudes over there you know what i'm saying he was like but bro he is hard like i'll be seeing him at the club he pull up to the club like 50 deep 100 deep and like, you know what I'm saying? Like his energy on stage is like it's like shrimp, but he just tall. You know what I'm saying? He just he go crazy. Like his music is hard. He was like, I'm gonna just have him come to the studio and just, you know what I'm saying, see what we can cook up. I was like, Yeah, y'all cook up, you know what I'm saying? Like, and see what it is. And then like a couple of weeks later he was like, Bro, he gotta be squad, like no matter what, like, he gotta be with us. And I was like, Man, like plus is like 
that's my day one. That's like my day yeah. zero. So when he said that, I'm like, bet. So I come to Atlanta, and I'm just I'm just going to go. Like, I would see, like, ears would be, like, around us going to the clubs, different stuff like that, but I never had heard his music. You know what I'm saying? I had met him. He was cool. And then, like, we had went to the studio, and I was just going to play the whole squad, um, Ransom and um, Shrimp Life One. You know what I'm saying? So I was playing that for the whole squad. So that same studio he was talking about, once we went in there, you know what I'm saying? I'm about, I'm about to start playing the music. Man, this man plugs up his phone and just start playing the music, and he just turned up. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm just feeling the energy. And I remember by, like, the third song, I had got chills. I'm like, hey, bro, I dapped him up. I'm like, bro, you was hard. Like, All right. Well, since you said that, I think this is a perfect segue because I need to hear some bars today. Yeah. I need to, I need to get chills. <laughs> Yeah, if you play "Gonna Be Something," if you play "Gonna Be Something," you gonna hear them bars. Play For "Gonna real. Be Something" right we gonna quick. Play something. We gonna get back to the um, "Gonna bars Be Something." In a second, Number right? three. Give us a few Ooh. minutes. We'll be right back. It's the feature presentation radio show. <laughs> DJ Suss One Ali V. Ears to the street. Mike Will is in the building. When we come back, <laughs> bars. bars, bars. Ears to the street. <laughs> 